The policies of austerity, the cutback in public investment into infrastructure, pension and wages had devastating effects in Europe and left its scars. But not only in Europe. None of the later political developments, such as the election of the far right to the office of the President of the United States of America, Donald Trump, would have been thinkable without these policies. This is why Janus and I, together with political movements such as yours, such as Diem, tried to challenge these policies and we took the European Central Bank during the Euro crisis to court. Because we found out that the decision of the ECB to curtail the Greek economy from the Euro and thus force the people against their democratic will to accept the devastating memoranda, which were later even criticized by the International Monetary Fund, was on very shaky legal grounds because it is not within the mandate of the ECB to decide whether pensions should be cut or not, or public investment should be scaled back or not. Its mandate is to conduct monetary policies. We found out that they had commissioned a study by a private law firm that should scrutinize whether they were allowed to actually enact those policies. And when we asked for the results of this study, they didn't want to release it. Ask yourself why. So we went to court over that, and unfortunately we lost in a scandalous ruling. Now the ECB demanded nearly 20,000 euros from us for that fundamental right of European citizens to their information. While they scaled back on some of their demands, we still think it is important to launch this campaign together so that in the future European citizens will not be intimidated by the fundamental right to freedom to information. This is why I'm supporting this campaign with my dear friend and comrade Jens.